Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Emil Vihandre and welcome to Fiscal Science. The topic for today is Collision Theory and its effects on chemical reactions. Before we start, let's review some terms. Chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances, called reactants, are converted to different substances known as products. In other words, a chemical reaction starts with reactants combining and reacting with each other to create products. To simplify things, let's have cake making as an example for our reactants and products. So your six ingredients are the reactants, they mix together to create the cake which is our product. The next concept is collision theory or the kinetic molecular theory which we can break into three parts. First, particles always move in a straight line. Second, particles act like billiard balls upon collision. Third, the particles must collide with each other to form chemical reactions or forming the products through collision. Today, we are going to explore how simple collision theory can explain the effects of concentration, temperature, catalyst, and orientation on the rate of reaction. Imagine this particle alone and moving in a straight line just bouncing off the wall. And on its own, will it cause a chemical reaction? Nope, since we need more particles or reactants. As you can see from the picture, we are shown only a few particles. This can be described as having a low concentration of particles, which causes less collisions, leading to less chance of chemical reaction. Now with a different pick, which has more particles, this can now be described as having a high concentration of particles which causes more collisions, leading to more chances of chemical reaction. And this is how collision theory affects concentration. We can also think of it as playing a game in the fair, where we throw a ball on a target. These games are designed to be difficult because of the distance between the few targets. But imagine, if we increase the targets, we have a greater chance of a positive reaction. Just like in concentration, by having more particles means more chances of chemical reaction. Next, we observe slow moving particles. And since they are slow moving, they have a low energy, or to be particular, a low kinetic energy. And this low kinetic energy can only be observed during cold or low temperatures. Moving this slowly during this cold temperature, we can see less collisions occurring, thus leading to less chance of chemical reactions. But what if we have the opposite? Imagine fast moving particles which produces high kinetic energies, which can only be observed during hot or high temperatures. The fast moving particles or reactants creates more collisions, thus more chance of chemical reactions to create products. Which is the correct orientation for H2O? It's letter C. The next focus of our collision is with the orientation of the reactants. Imagine carbon monoxide or CO colliding with oxygen. But with this orientation, since the oxygen particle 
bump with each other, they produce no chemical reaction. But what if we change their orientation? By trading places and making the carbon atom react to the other oxygen atoms produces carbon dioxide. The orientation of the colliding molecules partially determines whether a reaction between the two molecules will occur. For the last one, we have the catalyst. This is a substance that speeds up the rate of reaction without itself being consumed by the reaction. There are times when the collision between the reactants won't be enough to cause a chemical reaction. This would mean the need for a catalyst to increase or speed up the chemical reaction. By adding a catalyst makes the chemical reaction quicker. Just like in this chemical reaction, you can see we have our reactants on the left and the products on the right. While the catalyst is in the center, not present in the reactant or product. This only means that the catalyst is not consumed by either the reactants to form the products but acts only as a motivator for chemical reaction. I hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Goodbye!